Okay, morning people, we meet again. We are focusing on the topic animal diseases and protection. Sometimes we call it animal control and protection. It's a section or it's a topic whereby we we focus on the diseases that affect animal. And when we focus on the diseases that affect animal, we we, we go further and check how do those diseases affect the production. And we also check how do those diseases again will affect the economy of, of the country. As we move on with the topic, we then check how can we treat those diseases or how can we prevent animals from getting those diseases with an aim of stabilizing the economy of the country. This section, it is in question three of your paper one. It is combined with a topic named animal production. So it's animal production control and the protection. Question three of your paper one, which were 35 marks in section B and 15 marks in section A. Combined, it gives you 50 marks so you must make sure that you get maximum marks or higher marks in that question let's check what is crucial in this section what we we, we must master here you you must know signs of an animal that is not healthy or that is sick it's very important to know those signs and you must compare them with signs of an animal that is healthy Another thing that we must take note here, you, you, you must know <coughs> methods of checking or of testing the health of the animal. So we have different methods. It's important to name the method and also describe how do we use that method to test the health of the animal. We will look at those three different methods. Then we, we must know ways or methods of administering medication. Let's say now we want to treat the animal. We want to administer medication to the animal. Which are those methods that we can use? We will look at them. We, I, I, I compiled 16. We have, oh sorry, we have 18 methods of administering medication. And all those one eight methods, you must know them before you go to the exam. They are, they, they are mostly there in section A. Then we, we, we must look at ways, sustainable ways of using medication. We will talk about those. Then we, we must talk about these three animal diseases, infectious, non-infectious, and metabolic animal diseases. We must distinguish between among the three. Infectious, we sometimes give it a name and say it's contagious. Non-infectious, we sometimes say it's non-contagious. Then we have metabolic disease. So we must know the definitions of these three diseases. I will add other diseases. We, we must also know not a notifiable disease. What is a notifiable disease? What is an epidemic disease? What is a zoonotic disease? And what is an enzotic disease? So we must know all of those diseases. We will explain them when we get there. The last part that we must check here, we must know the differences in terms of the level of seriousness of diseases. The danger of diseases are not the same. Sometimes there is a disease that can take a long period of time, a, 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 a duration at Ibeyinde before it kill the animal. Then we have other diseases that can take a short period of time, then they quickly kill the animal. So we will we, we look at it in relation to that. There are those diseases that will quickly kill the animal, and some can take time to kill the animal, yet they still affect it. So we will look at it in relation to that. So we have three of them, the level of seriousness. We have chronic, we have peracute, we also have acute diseases. So we will look at all of that. But... We, we will look at it in different sections. I, I will not just make a, one explanation. I have, I, I will divide it in, in, in different segments, in different segments. We will start by the methods of testing animal health. That's where we will start. 
Let's start there. We have three methods, people, of testing whether the animal is hurt or not. One, you determine the body temperature of the animal. Two, you determine the respiratory rate of the animal. Three, determine the pulse rate of the animal. Remember we said, name and describe. What is in this slide, on this slide, is the naming part. So we are naming the three methods of testing animal health, determining the body temperature of an animal, determining the respiratory rate of the animal, determining the pulse rate of the animal. Then you must be able to know the description. How do we use the method to test whether it's held or not? Let's start with determining the temperature, which is one number one. What we do here, people, we use an instrument that we call thermometer. I even made it right there. We use an instrument that we call it thermometer. How do we use the instrument? We take the instrument and insert it into the rectum of the animal. Sometimes they will call it rectal thermometer. Why they call it a rectal thermometer? It's because it's a thermometer that is used to check the temperature of the animal and that thermometer, it is inserted into the rectum. Then we say you must make sure that you moist the, 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 the. You, 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 you moisten the, 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 the thermometer and then you tie it with a <coughs> with a string we further into the rectum and the more further lap with Alisa for about five minutes then after five minutes you remove it then you read the thermometer if the animal sorry if the animal is held it must have 38.5 degrees it must have 38.5 degrees. So what we are doing here, we are testing, we are determining the temperature of the animal, the body temperature. There are two things, or there are three things to master here. One, we are using an instrument. The instrument we are using, we say, it's what? It's a thermometer. Where do we insert the instrument? We insert it where? On the rectal, on the rectum. Hence, we call it a rectal thermometer. If the animal is held, the temperature must be 38.5. Once it is above 38.5, it means the animal is not held. So it's very important to, to note it in that way. Let's look at another one. Determining what? The respiratory rate of the animal. This one is simple. You observe the movement of the rib cage. When you observe the movement of the rib cage, you then count the number of breaths per minute. How many times does it breathe per minute? And if the animal is held, the breath per minute must be 14 breaths. That's what is crucial here. Respiratory rate, if the animal is held, it must have how many? Sorry, respiratory rate, if the animal is healthy, we say it must have how many? It must have 14 breaths. That is determining the respiratory rate of the animal. Now let's say, let's look at the last one. Whereby we look at determining the pulse rate of an animal. When you determine the pulse rate of the animal, there's something that I want you to master here. When you, you look at this one, the first thing that you must know is that the pulse rate, the pulse rate, it is equal to the number of heartbeats. So we say it is the pulse rate is equal to the number of what? Of heartbeats. Then we say the heartbeat is 50 beats per minute. Meaning, even the pulse rate, it will have how many beats? It will have 50 beats per minute. In this case, we are determining what? 
the pulse rate. I hope you get it. I hope you get it. We have three of them, people. We have three of them. Let's come here. We have three of them. Determining the body temperature, determining the respiratory rate, and determining the pulse rate of an animal. This is what I wanted to note. The first one, determining the body temperature. What you must note, know the instrument, know where do we insert the instrument, and know what is the correct, what is the temperature of a healthy animal. Determining the pulse rate, you must know how many breaths must the animal make if it is healthy. Determining the pulse rate, you must know how many beats will the heart make. Remember, we said it is equal to the heartbeat. Let's start with this one. We said here, we, we, we said on this one, we are using what? A thermometer. In that thermometer, see if I go pee slow some, see if I go pee, go rectum. We said if the animal is healthy, it must have 38.5 degrees Celsius. Then the animal is healthy. You use an instrument thermometer. That instrument thermometer is inserted where? In the rectum. And the health, an animal that is healthy will have 38.5. Determining the respiratory rate, you observe the ribcage. To count the number of it and if the animal is held it will have how many breaths 14 you come here you look at the pulse rate of an animal and we say the pulse rate of an animal is equal to what to the heart beat if the animal is held it must have how many beats 50 beats per minute here we say the temperature is 38 0.5 that's what is crucial in this part and i hope that you master it we will continue and look at the methods that are 18 and i want you to master all those 18 methods people thank you thank you